Hey guys, Mitch here with the Audio Dabble YouTube channel, and today I'm going to it's a little bit of a difference. I'm going to be looking at iOS 13 specifically on using a mouse and a keyboard with it. iPads had um, keyboard support for probably as long as it's been out and stuff, but this right here is the Logitech K380, and it is really really cool. It's not that loud, and so if you if you're typing in bed or or whatever you're not going to be waking people up and you're not if you're in an office somewhere you're not going to be like it's not that it's they're chiclet but they're not like really loud chiclet because you know it's just you know basically no louder than just on your fingers and so it's not silent but it's not super loud and they're really really responsive um, they're I would say comparable I mean it's it's a little bit about the size of a little bit smaller than my iPad Pro 12.9 inch um, uh, iPad here. So the really cool thing about this one though is it has three profiles. You got one, two, and three, and so I can have my MacBook Pro, my iPad, and my iPhone all connected up. And just depending on which one I want to connect to, I can just switch in between them, and it'll automatically connect to them. And so that's really nice if you got something on your MacBook or your other computer. You know, you're working and you want to pull something up on your iPad and type up type up something. You just click on that function that corresponds with the iPad. Same thing with the iPhone. If you got, you know, we want to do a long text message or something like that, then it's really good. So as far as uses for in the music side of it, I use it whenever I'm doing presets and naming presets and giving doing descriptions in presets. It makes it a lot easier than trying to do things inside of with the on-screen keyboard so if I pull up for instance let's just pull up D1 here um, when you go in here you know when you're doing a preset you can edit things over here on the in the category and you can do the names and stuff like that so it's just easier to type it up on a keyboard and so have it handy um, and it's not like you're having to go back and switch and everything else those hot keys right here make it just easy if you've got your MacBook pulled up and you're doing something you're like oh let me save this preset all you gotta do is just hit that key and boom there you have it alright so there is that so let me close out that and let me go let me hit on the mouse and so for the mouse it's a little bit different and so when I was first trying to plug up the mouse after I updated I had this in um, discover mode this is a TechNet BM 307 and all the links of these right here will be in the description but it wasn't coming up underneath the my devices like discover it just wasn't I mean you can see right now my H9 is um, I can hook it up via Bluetooth but nothing else was coming up and so I did a quick internet search Google is my friend and little article and I was like well you know people will read an article but they'll also watch a video and so I just wanted to make sure that I show you how it's done and so if you go under your settings I'm under settings and a beautiful another beautiful thing is because you get this little dot here where your finger would be and so I plan on using a mouse with my iPad quite a bit especially when I'm doing videos because now I can screen capture and capture stereo sound and I can also show you where my fingers at and you can get a nice full screen you don't see these fat fingers everywhere so that's kinda cool and so if you go under settings you go down under general you'll hit accessibility and then you'll click on touch and then assistive touch you need to turn that on and so you just click on it turn it on and what that'll do is that'll turn on assistive touch allows you to use your iPad if you're having difficulty touching the screen or if you require an adaptive accessory a mouse is an adaptive accessory you know and so but there's other you know there's other things you know of people who don't maybe have hands or fingers and you know there's a lot of different devices that could be used to interact with a with a device and if you don't you know I'm not gonna get into all that but there is and so but the beauty of that is it allows you to use your mouse and so now it is more competitive with with iOS 13 I feel like it's more competitive with the surface uh, Microsoft surface laptops or touch devices whatever pro books touch screens whatever they are because it does allow for keyboard 
and mouse support and people like people like their mouse i mean there's you have a touch screen here that works perfectly but people like their mouse and so there you have it and so once you have the assistive touch on and you go to your devices here then you can bluetooth devices and then it will show up underneath the um, bluetooth devices you can connect up and then you'll have control over like tracking speed how quickly things move around drag lock you can zoom you got a whole bunch of options but I was really pleasantly surprised when you go back to your devices and you click on your device this gives you the option for all the buttons that are on the on the uh, thing and so let me just delete these two right here um, this is a it'll come with a standard three button the third button here is the home but you can add additional buttons if you want to which was really cool because this mut this mouse actually does have two buttons on the side here and so I could do button five it's the forward button and you can do it as an app switcher you've got you know open a menu single tap accessibility shortcut dock you can bring up your dock you can have it do a double tap home lock rotation notification so these are all the options that you have if you want a shortcut to Siri I mean whatever you want to volume control right here on your uh, um, mouse would be pretty cool bring up spotlight you can have like if there's something like to shake because I know that like uh, loopy has shake and it'll reset or whatever take a screenshot which might be kinda cool um, you know restart you can do pinch so let's do pinch with that one and so now I don't even know what that does No clue what it does, but we can do it. And then if I want to add the other button here, you just click on it and then click the button. So if you got one of those gaming mice that have a whole bunch of different options, different buttons on this thing, it would be uh, pretty cool. And so let's just do. Do we want home or, or app switch? Let's do app switcher. All right, so now if I click on that, if I had other apps open up, so let's like open up model 15, modal, modal, model. Um, I can switch apps just by the click of a button. And so that's, I don't have to do anything fancy. I don't got to drag to the bottom and get to the apps. I can just click and it brings up the apps. And so that's, you know, that's, to me that's useful and I really really like it and uh, yeah so like I said I'll be using it for definitely for my videos to show my finger presses and you know the screens and everything but you know just having a mice and having that level of control is something too I don't know what the world just preset is whoa 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 that's really really crazy um, but yeah I mean it might even be fun I don't know I haven't tested it with any games so I don't know if it works with games and stuff so I will have to test that as well but I do I do enjoy it now this is a TechNet BM 307 and this is a Logitech K380 I will have links in the description for both of those I really enjoy them I have had both of these for about six months haven't had to change the batteries in this I have had to change the batteries a couple times in the mouse but I keep it on all the time and it does have a little battery indicator here that will show you once it starts getting low just uh, it'll start flashing and just change them out I got some rechargeable batteries and so yeah just a couple sets of rechargeable batteries will keep you going for for a year or forever just to have one one charging and one not and so <clears throat> thanks for watching guys all links are in the description and uh, I'll talk to you guys later